This is the Google Trends Analyzer updated for 2021. And I created this Google Trends Analyzer to actually analyze the data off of a Google Trends graph. So actually you download the data to a CSV, you bring it to the Google Trends Analyzer, and what it does is it actually analyzes this past five years of data. And um, it gives you the average search interest uh, per month for all five years and also uh, gives you the individual months for each year, the average for each month for each year. And then also breaks it down into quarters, meaning the first quarter, second, third, and fourth quarter of each year as well. And it gives you that overall average as well, right? So um, this comes in really handy for interpreting the graphs and really looking more into the data instead of just looking at a graph, right? So um, what I'll do is go ahead and show you how that works. I'm just going to clear the data out and start from the beginning. So basically, um, if you're on Google Trends, you just put in a search term. I had to use lawn chairs in this case. And the way that this is set up, you use past five years. And then it will give you the past uh, five years graph, right? As you see in front of you, you then just download this data from here to a CSV file and you open it okay open the CSV and actually you can just highlight columns A and B just like this copy and then go to the trends analyzer right click over here and just click paste right or you can just click in A1 and click paste copy and paste is really going to be the quickest easiest way to get the data in here um, technically you could save it save the CSV and I could have like an import function but I actually found it easier for me to just copy and paste it right it's actually faster than saving a file and all of that um, so now you have the results right now this again this is just for the past five years but um, I am also making a version which will include more time ranges so check the description because I, by the time you're watching this video, I might have already done that. But right now, this version, this is just for the past five years. All right, and as you can see, you'll see that certain months have a green arrow pointing up, like May, June, July. Others have the red arrow down. So those are like kind of like the lower months, and it's all relative to the overall performance. So May, June, July are up. Uh, in green because these numbers are generally higher than the other numbers for the other months right so that means that these are your three most popular months and actually if you look at lawn chairs here for the past five years you will see it is it does tend to spike more up in that area right in the June July May area as you can see right in here All right right in here again right that's May see June July and again here alright it's just it's, there's a highest point somewhere between June and July but May June and July that's where it begins to make that growth that's where it makes that growth right so basically um, the analyzer takes that and makes it numerical right so it's much easier to see uh, and to, to actually put a number on it right to actually quantify it right um, it also gives you the overall average for the for all of the months and that just gives you a point of comparison so you can see well if the average across or the average number is 29 then that gives you an idea of how high it was here it could, because these are in the 60s right 61 62 we see July is a little lower it starts to kind of go downward right now um, you also have the months and years so this is just breaking it down like for every single year so for 2016 starting with June because it's the past five years it's gonna go back today's June 15th so it goes back five years uh, pre prior right to June 15th 2021 which is June 15th 2016 and then we see the values for each month right it takes the average because the data is weekly, right? When you download this data, it's giving you every week. So what this is doing is it's taking all the weeks of June of 2016 and then it averages those together, right? All the weeks of July for that year, the weeks of August for that year, September, and it does the same thing for each year. 
So, you know, if you just want to see like the actual individual numbers, the averages for each month, that might be something that interests you that you want to look at in more detail. And you can see the yearly averages to see what the average was across the whole year of all those values. Okay, and then you have the quarters, right? So you get to see which quarter of the year was it up, right? We see the green arrow here. April to June is your best quarter, of course, right? Because we have May and June are the two popular months and they're in the second quarter, right? And then again, for each year, you can look at the individual numbers, right? But this, you know, this is giving you the summary for the past five years. When it says all years, see how it says all years here, right? So that's, this is, taking all the five years and putting them together this is what we're seeing is this is true. so so basically uh, if you were selling lawn chairs for instance if you're in, if you're in e-commerce or if you're making content about lawn chairs uh, let's say for marketing or whatever right it's just letting you know this is the time that people will be interested in those things now um, the other option here is to record results so you can go ahead and click that and what will happen is right now it's blank and you'll see when you click record results it should automatically um, what it does is it just takes the summarized it doesn't record everything that's here but it takes the monthly um, numbers and records those numbers over here right uh, down here so you do get this extra blank that shows up but you can actually delete this um, you can right click delete table rows and get rid of that and it won't keep doing that. I think that it only does that the first time, if I remember correctly. But if it does, you can always delete that extra column, extra row. So it just took the numbers from here, from January, February, all the way through, and it just pasted them here. And what it does is the ones that are above the average for the year, it makes them green. And the ones that are... So this is different from this, from these. These are... Um, controlled by Excel itself. Excel actually does uh, its own analysis and comes up with these icons to give you like the really like three most popular ones here. What this does, uh, what I did here, I set this up, um, the formatting for this, this just looks to see where it's above the average and then tells you which values are above average because just because these two are the most popular it doesn't mean that these aren't any good right I mean these are still it just means that those were the, the most popular but there is a there is a point where it begins to increase and build up to get here so it's showing you April's that time it's like you know you're building up you're above average here you know it's really building up here and even though it's dying down here it's still larger than the others and then this is showing you that these are when it goes below average okay and it's below average here so that's basically it I mean when you're ready to do you can only do of course you one search phrase at a time but you can keep on recording the results and it will keep adding more and more and more results down here uh, to the end of the um, results table so you can actually build up you know a list of results for your different search terms here right so you're not just analyzing and then completely losing everything right so um, that's something you can do as well and then when you're ready to do another one you can use clear data or you could actually just delete this yourself but you know I figured it was convenient to just hit the clear data button that will clear out the data and um, you start again right so you just clear it out like that and you go back to Google Trends and you get another search term and you do the whole process again so anyway uh, anyway that's how it works um, there's a link in the description of the video if you want to get copy so um, go ahead and check the link and see if there's any other information there um, as I said before earlier in the video I should also have another version where um, I'm gonna have more time ranges not just for the past five years but you might want to just do you know you might want to do past 30 days uh, to see which days of the week something was most popular for instance things like that you know so there will be a more complete version eventually available it might be available if you're watching this video in the future if you're watching it on June 15th it's not gonna be it's probably no it won't be available like today but uh, it won't be it'll, it'll be available in the near future but if you're watching this way in the future it's probably available and you can just go ahead and get it so anyway thanks for watching and I hope you find this useful um, 
I think it comes in really handy for analyzing Google Trends. And I uh, hope to see you around on the channel or in another video or to hear from you via email or however you choose to contact me. It's Mr. Mark, Smart Teach Channel, and I'll see you on another one.